so, so definitely uh, there's a big change there as well. So uh, there's a lot of debate has been going on for decades, when will uh, the oil supplies run out? But that's only part of the problem, regardless of, of if and when they will run out, uh, there's a big change in the market that people don't want to rely on fossil fuels anymore. They, they want to rely on, on more green uh, energies. From a, a green perspective, but also from a global politics perspective, uh, solar energy, wind energy, that that's, makes countries less dependable on, on other countries. So there's definitely a shift there in, in what type of energy do we want to rely on. As of today, oil and gas still is a, a large part of the world oil supply, uh, energy supply. And even if all the energy would be green, then still oil and gas would be very important for, for the petrochemical industry. So the oil and gas industry in itself will remain big and, and important for the, dec the decades to come. And the oil and gas companies realize that. But at the same time, they, for the long term, they need to make sure that they divest also in, in other industries and other ways of energy. So more and more you see that companies are transforming their supply chain so to not only be oil and gas based or, or fossil fuels based, but also become more and more uh, power or energy based. One of the examples there is that we worked with a, uh, a large formerly coal plant in the UK and they actually were changing their business from coal, so fossil fuel uh, based, to uh, renewable uh, energy sources, so biofuel based. And the challenge there is that the supply chain for biofuels is way more complicated than for coal. Because with coal, at least originally, you had a plant here and you have the coal mine next to it and that's a fairly simple supply chain. But now they need to get the biofuels from all over the world and there's very interesting and, and complicated spot markets on, on the vessels and the, uh, uh, the, the fuels. And next to that you have not only the, the sea, the, the, the vessel uh, logistics, but also the inland logistics. So how do you get the biofuels from all the different ports in the country to the, uh, to the plant? So because of this change from fossil based uh, uh, energy to biofuels, that, makes, that in itself makes the supply chain a lot more complicated and therefore uh, there was a lot of opportunity to improve that business by uh, applying our software.